David Lee here reporting for Capital Wrestling, and with me right now is Griffin McCoy, Jimmy Rafe, oh, yeah. and we are going to get their thoughts about what they're feeling going into tonight's match for the Capital Wrestling Tag Team Championships. Feeling w. Listen, listen, we're going to win this thing. Oh, yeah. Listen, I don't have losers on my squad no, 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 like baby. Colby Carino. All I need for you to do is do the job tonight. I haven't been pinned one time in Capital Wrestling, and time. tonight's not going to be another one of those disappointing nights like Colby Carino was doing, all right? Yeah, I got you, son. I ain't no Colby Carino. You're talking to the bougie boy Griffin McCoy. We're coming in there tonight, a couple, uh, couple of hoodlums, a couple of hot boys. Don't matter. We're a couple of studs. You better lock up your mom, your sisters, your grandma, because they're getting wetter than Niagara Falls. Bougie Borg from McCoy, Jimmy Rave, we taking the straps, we taking the bud, we taking the bruise, we taking the bitches, son. You better watch out, Capital Wrestling. You're looking at the new tag team champions. You heard the boy. Will we have new tag team champions? Yes. We'll find out later tonight. something. We might have come as invaders, but now this is their house. And I don't care if you're a hot boy. I don't care if you're international. What I care about is what's your rep. These two men have proven day in and day out that they are the best tag team that Capital has to offer. Understand something, Hot Boys International. You might be all around the world, but what's your rep in Capital? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Capital Wrestling. I'm your owner and entrepreneur, the, the inspiration for the entertainment era, Mr. Entertainment, Harry Trajanian, joined alongside by my colleague, the Killjoy, Stephen James. That's right, we're back here in the Capital, back here in Hoboken after our trip to Nashville. It's a homecoming of sorts here as the rising suns enter the ring as we get ready for Tag Team Championship Triple Threat Action. Fight fans, prepare for the new wave of professional wrestling. Capital Wrestling brings you all of the hard-hitting and high-flying action every week for free on Fight. From the Concrete Rose Sunny Kiss to the Dark Heart Ken Dixon to Capital Champion Matt McIntosh, you won't miss a moment from the Capital. Be sure to download the Fight app in the iOS and Google App Store, as well as Amazon, Apple TV, and your favorite gaming console. Capital Wrestling, catch the new wave. This episode of Capital Wrestling is brought to you in part by Sapphire NYC. Now with three locations in Manhattan. Go to nysapphire.com for more information. Want to watch every single episode of Capital Wrestling Television? Miss an episode of the Capital Wrestling Podcast? Don't fret, because the Capital Wrestling YouTube channel has all that and more. YouTube.com slash Capital Wrestling is your hub for all things Capital. Well, anyway, I'll tell you what's not going to be disappointing. This tag team action here as we're joined by Hot Boys International. You said Hot Property and no tag team, no group in Capital Wrestling has been hotter, pun certainly intended here, than Hot Boys International undefeated in 2019. And as always, ingratiating himself to the fans. He stole the child's belt! Himself. He stole a child's belt. Well, it's practice for when they win the actual tag team championships. You gotta think like a winner before you can be a winner, Steven. I know that's something you're unfamiliar with. And here's a winner, Bobby Orlando. And Bobby Jr. Don't forget Bobby Jr. It's a, it's a look, look. That's what you're supposed to take seriously? 
Listen, you can you can argue with his you can argue with his method. First of all, stop accusing Bobby Orlando of having a loaded goat. That can't get through customs, I bet. But you can argue with his methods. He has managed his team to victory. They are undefeated in tag team competition. I hate to give it to Bobby Orlando, but folks, looks may be deceiving, but he's been right every step of the way for Hot Boys International. But will he be right tonight in, in saying the Hot Boys International will become tag team champions when they face the tag team champions? The squirrel is smarter than you. Was that supposed to be funny? If you have to ask, you'll never know. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not interested in impressing you. You're not my type of audience. My audience has money. And they brush their teeth. Anyway, let's focus on this tag team match here for the Capital Wrestling Tag Team Championships. We have three of the best teams in Capital Wrestling right now. Getting ready for a championship introduction. on the line here. The rep uh, def coming off a successful title defense in our first show in Nashville against the Rejects. And what a hard-hitting matchup that was. Well, I I'm still paying for some of the furniture in that building, but it was worth it because that was a phenomenal match and a, a, a tremendous title defense. Oh, and Carter driving McCoy down to the mat. It's like they're manipulating keep, the limbs. Cre keep creating more and more obstacles for themselves and surpassing that. Now a triple threat match. This is a very important match for Griffin McCoy because Jimmy Rave told Griff, don't embarrass me, kid. Could this be another Colby Carino situation in the making here? Well, speaking of that, uh, Jimmy Rave and, and Griffin McCoy are alone because Lucy Loke is off handling the Colby problem. The Colby problem? What do you mean? Colby problem. As Griffin McCoy exits to the outside, taking a break here. Colby Carino, the former member of the Rising Suns, who was uh, unceremoniously uh, tossed out of the group. Unceremoniously. Casey Navarro in the ring now. And look at that. Look at the positioning. Casey looking fantastic. Hoping to add to what has been a great 2019 here at Capital Wrestling for Casey. Running directly into Dave McCall. Both men not giving an inch. Trying again. No avail. A little bit of a size disadvantage, but that's never stopped Casey before. Casey Navarro, some would say, pound for pound, 
the best wrestler in Capital Wrestling. The problem is showing. The problem is there's more pounds on uh, on Dave McCall. Did you see that slide? Oh, on the outside, Bobby Jr. pulling Dave McCall's leg after that slap, that insidious slap from Casey Navarro. Oh, a nervous battle on the outside. Oh, Killing it for good measure. One good turn deserves another. How about that, Harry? Well, luckily uh, for both competitors, no DQ in this match. Oh, no. Wait a minute. caught up in this whole situation, hoping to get a, a one-up on him. opportunity to sneak in the ring there now one on one with Casey Navarro hoping to take advantage. Double drop kick and a kick up to boot. This would be big for the Rising Suns to be champions as they are regrouping after what has no man in the Rising Suns having held championship gold yet here. What has been arguably a very difficult year for them. Losing several members and what a what a big deal it would be for them to be capital wrestling champions. Break it up. Cover one, two. Two count only. And that's the danger of these triple threat matches, uh, especially for the rep. They don't even have to be pinned. I mean, they're both on the ring apron. There is no champion's advantage. No, There's none. a champion's disadvantage here. Having that third team. Oh, Jimmy Rage. How awful would it be for them to lose this championship without being pinned? Jimmy Rave with that strong right hand who's felled many, many a man and, uh, in this business. You think twice when the crown jewel hits you. Tag made, lucky 13. Smartly, Casey Navarro dragging Jimmy Rave into his corner. Like I said before, I hate to give Bobby Orlando credit because he's kind of a maniac, but he's got Hot Boys International firing on all cylinders, and could they add the tag team championships? He's like a deranged cab driver. You don't want to trust him. He seems insane, but he knows how to do his job. Irish whip. Ducking underneath. Rave to the outside wisely. And in comes McCoy. Double drop kick to the rip here. The lucha rules of this triple threat tag team match. Oh, lucky 13 trying to drive out. Griffin McCoy. He manages to get him out, but at first you don't succeed. Try, try again as he grabbed the legs on his way down. Sky there. Oh, in comes Lucky 13. I'm not so lucky. Double oh, vertical no. suplex holding on. Oh, that's gotta be it. Gotta make the cover, but there's no one to cover here. The ref just cleaning house. Oh, a head butt. Head butt. to McCall, and now KC shoving Jimmy Rain out. Lucky 13 back up. Again, chopping. KC Navarro. What is this? Oh, one, two. Two count only. 
And so what close. What athleticism by Casey Navarro trying to steal one here. But here comes Griff McCoy. Griff McCoy tossing Casey Navarro to the outside. Ooh, but the chop to Nate Carter having zero effect. Zero effect there. Driving headbutt. Did he spit his mouth guard out? I don't know. I, I could have sworn that might have been Griff McCoy's teeth. Oh, spinning back elbow by Jimmy Ray. Oh. Super kick. Catching no. Carter. The Rising Sun's hoping to take advantage. This could be it. Carter, Jimmy Ray, one, two. Oh, oh just so making close. the save. What is, what is the ruling by the referee? Two count only. Two count only. Wow, that was Very so close. close. Casey Navarro just making the save as Griff McCoy taking out Dave McCall on the outside. Now back in is McCoy. Casey Navarro with that forearm. Spinning through. DDT And Casey Navarro firing up, but here comes Jimmy Ray. Oh, STO. Lucky 13 back in. This is getting out of control. The action fast and heavy here. Lucky 13 up and over. Standing backflip. Driving the knee. Oh, suplex into the turnbuckle. And look at this. Lucky 13 hoping to take it. Look at fly. Bring the championship. Oh, oh. awareness by Griffin McCoy of the Rising Suns, but now... Oh, but now. Nate McCoy caught in a precarious position. Uh, Griffin McCoy, pardon. Doing his damnedest to fight off the rep, but the rep answer... This could be it! Fabulous finish of the week, sponsored by To Be The Man. Let's get him up. He's got him up. Could it be? Oh! Dreams by the waterfall. Now some cover. One, two, three. That was the fabulous finish, sponsored by To Be The Man. Available on Amazon.com.
God damn it, we're blessed. We're too damn blessed. And you don't have to tell us we already know. Hot Boys International, this is what that win was. Garbage! That's all I'm talking about, baby. What's I'm talking about? Yeah. You have no idea what's coming for you. Hot Boys, baby! Hottest tag team in professional wrestling and new capital wrestling tag team champions. But from now on, we ain't alone. Come on, Smokes. We won't just smoke, we'll capital wrestling got the smoke. Yeah! Let's be popcorn! Yo, yo, what the hell? We're blessed! We're blessed! We're blessed! We're blessed! I told you not to drop the ball. Jimmy, what the hell? I was stranded out there, bro. What the hell do you want me to do? We're blessed! We're blessed! Black don't crack! Oh yeah! Bro, that's not what I like. Forget it, I'll do this myself. But we're lost, we're lost! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr